Hey everybody, it's Ivy. I am so excited for this video, you guys. I've been wanting to do this mint green color for a long time. So let's get right into it. The hair I'm using today is from Julia Hair. This is a 613 blonde wig. It is a 13 by six frontal. I believe this unit was 20 inches. It comes with combs and adjustable bands. I really like the um, construction of this wig. I thought it was really nice and it's nice and full. Right now I'm gonna tint the lace and I like to spray some got to be on the hair just so the tint doesn't stain the blonde hair and I'm just gonna brush that out of the way as you guys know I like to tint my lace with fabric color okay so I spray a nice um, thin coat of this on the lace I turn my wig inside out and I spray it on there and I let it dry for about an hour. And once I'm done letting it dry, I flip the wig back on the other side and I brush out that got to be. And when I brush off the got to be, it actually removes whatever fabric color got on the strands of hair. And then I take a little bit of alcohol and I spray it on the lace and I wipe off the film that the um, fabric color leaves behind because it does leave like a gloss on it. So if you use alcohol, it'll just remove that off. And um, the color actually doesn't come off of the lace at all. It's permanent um, fabric dye. And after I wash it, this is what it looks like. It looks nice and tinted and it matches my skin amazingly, like to a T. It matches really well. Now it's time to color. I'm using my Arctic Fox color, which I love. This is my like one of my favorite hair colors. And I'm using the color Neverland. I'm gonna mix Neverland with the Arctic Mix Diluter. And this is just gonna help the color become like a lighter green color. And it also stretches the color. I only used two bottles for this entire unit. And I did section my hair off and I just went through and painted on the color. Now this unit is pretty thick, but two bottles was more than enough. And I just painted that all over my unit. And then I let this sit on the hair for about an hour, maybe two hours. And I just massaged it through, making sure all the hair strands were saturated. And you guys, this color smells so good. My hair studio still smells like I love Arctic Fox colors. And this is the outcome after I washed it and rinsed out the color. Amazing, amazing. And I love the little wave that the wig has. It's really, really nice. And I don't know how I did this, but the ends of my hair are actually lighter than the top. I don't know how it did that, but I like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on this unit. And wow, the lace matches so, so well. One little tip I wanna give the hair companies, you guys, make your blonde wigs with brown lace. The lace doesn't have to be white, so then we don't have to do all this work, okay? So um, yeah, I'm just positioning my wig on, getting it in place, and now I'm just cutting off my lace, as you guys can see, and it matches so good. Like this is, I already know this wig about to be melted. Oh God, it looks so freaking good. Using the fabric color, it actually tints the knots. It tints all the lace and just makes everything, oh, it looks so good, right? So now I'm just continuing to cut off my lace and I'm going to um, tack this wig down with some got to be. I didn't want to glue it, I just wanted to use some got to be. And um, I only used a little, a little, little bit and I'm using my blow dryer on cool just to tack my lace in place. And this thing is melted, y'all, like it looks, super super good like this is probably one of my favorite color wigs i've ever did on myself it's so pretty i didn't even want to take it off y'all like this wig is it okay and i decided to do a middle part because y'all know i'm just i'm middle part girl so i did me a nice little middle part and i'm going to take my blow dryer and just flatten my hair out you guys already know the routine y'all know how i do my wigs and I'm just using my blow dryer to get everything nice and flat because one thing I hate is a lumpy wig, okay? Don't get caught with no lumpy wig because it's not cute, okay? Make sure your wigs are nice and flat. However you do them, make sure that thing flat, okay? So I'm not gonna do like a lot of baby hairs on this unit. I'm just gonna do some like on the sides. With my units, I'm starting not to like a whole lot of baby hair on them, especially when it's like, colors and stuff like that I've, I've learned that less is more and i'm using like a little eyebrow razor just to cut my baby hair 
you guys already know the routine if you want to see a video that's more in depth about how i lay my laces i will have one in my cards check above the video so now i'm using my got to be gel and i'm going to use this to lay down my baby hairs and this is just going to add some extra security i'm just using a little little bit i don't want nothing too dramatic and i'm um, also brushing the edges of the wig back i like for the edges to be back it gives me a nice polished look and now i'm just doing my baby hairs on the other side of my head and whoo that, that's you guys that is melted it looks so so good and now i'm just brushing back those edges even more just so everything could look really nice and neat and now i'm brushing out the hair i'm gonna go in and add some curls to it i kind of want to leave it straight but i was like nah let me do some curls and um i'm using my ion curler i love this curling iron you guys it's like one of my favorites i just got it and it gives me the perfect big loose curls that i love because i don't really like super tight curls and this hair curls a curl really well, like really, really well. I was surprised because a lot of blonde hair, it doesn't curl really good. But this, I was really impressed. I was like, oh, okay. This color, this ice green, mint green is just beautiful. I got my inspiration from Summer Walker. I'll include her picture right here. I seen on Instagram with this and I was just like, oh my God, I need this hair color. It's me. I love it, I love her, so I was like, let me do this, put my own little spin on it. You guys, tell me this ain't popping. Tell me it ain't cute, okay, with the contacts, okay? Everything looks so cute, and I love the contrast of dark skin and these bright pastel colors. It's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. If you're interested in this wig, make sure you check the description bar below, because this thing is melted. I love it. Thank you, Julia Wigs, for this hair. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna be coming back for another blonde wig, okay? So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to thumb this up and comment below if you love my hair videos. Please subscribe, you guys, and click that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.